Jonathan, why aren't you in class? Your teacher must be waiting for you. Hello, teacher. No, my class finished 10 minutes ago. I'm going home. Oh, I didn't know. And how was your class? Do you feel like you're improving your English? Yes, I'm learning new things every day, but I need you to help me with something, please. You know I want to improve my English fast, but I don't like reading books or write by hand. I wonder, can I use technology to learn English? If so, how can I do it? That's a very good question. And of course, you can use technology to learn English. Learning English skills today is much easier than it was 10 or 20 years ago, thanks to advances in technology. Even with all these advances, many people tend to overlook these benefits and how they can help them improve their English language skills. Mm, let's see. There are many tools you can use to learn English, videos, apps, etc. But I will start with something that I think is very important and very easy to use. Google Translate. Google has this wonderful tool that will translate words from one language to another. There is also an audio option. You can click on to hear how the word should be pronounced. Use this tool to help learn new English words every single day. It's very helpful. Translate a sentence from your native language into English and practice speaking and writing it until you fully understand it. Even I use this tool every single day. Now, if you want to know more things like grammar, explanation, or maybe the difference between two words, all you have to do is to use Google search. Google is also a great tool to learn the proper spellings of English words, their definitions, and proper grammar usage. All you have to do is enter the word into Google and click search. For example, you could look up the words complement and complement, as these words are often used incorrectly and mean different things, even though they sound almost identical when spoken. Or you can search the difference between two grammar times. It's up to you. Now, let's talk about English learning videos. Videos are a great way to see different cultures and hear real-life English. We have lots of great learning tips, everyday life situations, grammar, vocabulary, and many other topics. But the really fantastic thing about video technology is that learners can make their own. What some of my students do is to listen to these videos with the eyes closed to see if they can understand what the speakers are saying. Then they check if they were right. They can also write what they listen. Videos like this are really helpful because you can read what we say so you can listen and write what you hear and then check if you were right or not. Or you can also pause the video and repeat what they say. 
That way you can practice pronunciation. What I mean is, videos are an, an amazing way to practice and improve your English. And the best thing about them is that you can be learning while doing other things. For example, I usually listen to videos about things I'm interested in, business, languages, etc. While I am working or while I am cooking, I can use my computer or my cell phone for this. I don't like reading books much. That's why I prefer to watch or listen to videos every day. Now, something that I really recommend you is to use internet to learn English. How? Very simple. You don't need to search boring topics if you don't like them. You can search whatever you want, Jonathan. For example, who was the first person in space? How do you say hello in Italian? What is the biggest city in the world by population? What is the best movie in the world? I don't know. Whatever you want. What I do is, when I have a doubt, I search the answer in English. For example, I like playing FIFA video game. I love it. So when I want to know a trick or something, I search this information in English. Or when I don't know how to cook something, the same thing. If you really want to improve your English, you have to immerse yourself in the language every day. Because that can make the difference between learning English or not. What else? Of course, we need to mention the apps. There are a lot of useful apps to learn English. And many of them are free. We have a video about the best apps to learn English in the channel. Podcast. Students can listen to podcasts to improve their comprehension. And not only you can listen to podcasts, you can also create your own podcast in English. With just the microphone and the computer, students can create reports and presentations. Online games. You can master spelling, grammar, and other English skills by playing games. On the computer or mobile devices. Now, not only you can play games for teenagers, you can also play educational games. I recommend some platforms like Kahoot, Wordwall, Quizlet, and many other good platforms with interesting and funny games. Or you can simply search online games to learn or practice English and you'll find a lot of options. Now, you can also learn and practice your English with Facebook, Instagram, and social media. I'm sure you have at least one account on this social media. Well, follow an English account. It can be your favorite band, singer, an actor, an influencer, or any person or group you want. I love rock, for example. I follow my favorite band. They always post videos of them talking. I listen to them because I like their music and I practice my listening at the same time. There are many ways to practice English with technology. Just try these tools. 
Thank you, teacher. I will do what you have recommended. It's really helpful. My pleasure. And if you have more questions about how to learn English, you can write your questions in the comments. I will try to help you improve your English. Take care. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.